I have to tell you guys that the Pokemon song scene is my favorite scene in the entire movie. <laughs> Thank I you. could not stop laughing. And I started laughing first, which is how I know that no one else in the show got it. Because within the <laughs> first so line, funny. I'm like, oh my god. And I was like singing it in my head with you guys because yeah. I used to wake up every morning in order to watch Pokemon before I went to school. Really? I love that. Yeah. I remember it was on super early, like at six in the morning or right. something. So I, I would time myself so I could get up, watch it for 30 minutes as I get ready in between like commercial breaks. Mm -hmm. Go get ready, come yes. back, and then have to go to hike to whatever grade I was in at the time. Right, right. <laughs> um, but I want to know about shooting in this van because you basically spend all fun. of your time shooting in the minivan. Mm. Yeah, um, it was really fun. I mean, it's like I think that it's such a cool part of the movie that so much of it takes place in a car because it's such an intimate setting and these people don't really know each other. So they get into the van and as the characters are getting to know each other, the audience is also getting to know the characters better and I kind of liked that format of it. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, I like that van a lot. What was her name? Uh, Lorraine, she had a hundred names. Yeah. Well, what do we call it? Lorraine or something like that? Yeah. Lorraine. She had, well, she had a lot of names. Weirdly enough, that was the exact same van, not not that one exactly, but same van that I grew up in because that was the van that my parents had when I went to high school. So you oh watch, my God. You, Same color, Honda Odyssey. You watch Pokemon same and color? then get in the... Same uh, color, the gold color. <laughs> I didn't watch Pokemon in the car, no. No, but, but you watch Pokemon and then you get and in the... And then I got in the van. You're like, Paper yes. Towns is my life story. I am Q. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I want to ask you more about your acting careers because we do this educational show along with Made in Hollywood. So what was the biggest step that you would say launched your careers? Launched. Launched? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I felt like this movie is something... I've, I've had a lot of different roles and smaller parts in um, projects, but this was the first role where I actually really felt a part of... Um, the movie as a whole and, and just bonding with the cast was a big part of that and I think it's the thing right in this moment that I'm most proud of and most excited about so I'd say this. Yeah, I don't think I really have a good answer for you. Is there like one single biggest mistake that someone could make when they're starting out? Mistake? Um, I would say it just comes down to sort of doing what you feel is right and uh, truly not listening to really anyone because there are no rules in what you're doing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping back to the movie, preconceived notions is actually a big theme in the film. Mm -hmm. So what is something that I wouldn't <clears throat> guess about you two since I, you know, just met you guys? I've been to jail. Stop it. I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, that was going to be too. such a good story, too. I know. No, I uh, grew up riding horses, so I was an athlete for eight years before I started acting. How fun. Yeah. I, love I know horses. you wouldn't know it just by looking. <laughs> Something that you wouldn't know about me. I don't really know. Is there anything? There's a lot I don't know about you. Yeah. You didn't learn anything odd or strange about Austin while you were shooting in a van. Austin's <laughs> really good at camouflaging himself into his character, hmm. which is, I think, something that everyone on set really respected. and. Learned from. I don't. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't think I may have no answer. We'll for figure. It out. We'll find. We'll find. We'll something. think of something. Um, 